Hey book nerds, welcome to my channel. Today you get a bonus video because I'm filming my buzzword of on TBR. Um, if I was organised this would have gone up yesterday because it actually started yesterday. But if you don't know, Buzzwordathon is a reading, is a readathon hosted by Books and La La and this time it's also hosted by Natasha from My Reading is Odd. So I will link Books and La La's video down below where she explains the readathon. But essentially what it is is they pick a word which is the buzzword and you have to read books that have that buzzword in. So the buzzword this time around is lie which is perfect because I have so many books with lie or lying or liars in the title because I'm a fan of thrillers. <laughs> so I narrowed it down to four books which is quite ambitious. It runs from the 14th to the 20th. Um, I usually read a book every two days but it's the 15th today when I'm filming this and I haven't started yet so I probably won't read all four of these but I also have some long train journeys near the end of the week so we'll see what happens with those maybe I'll get round to reading quite a few of these. So without any further ado let's go into the first of these books and that is Every Last Lie by Mary Kibika. This um, actually is part of one of my challenges for 2019 but that video won't be up yet but it'll be up next week. Um, so this is about a woman whose husband uh, dies in a car accident and their four-year-old daughter was in the car with him and she manages to survive. However, the four-year-old daughter starts having night terrors and saying things that implies that the accident wasn't necessarily an accident. So our protagonist starts investigating into whether or not her husband did something on per like whether he tried to crash the car on purpose and if so why would he do that um it's told in two parts which i really like so it's got a the present where she's trying to solve up solve what happened and it's got the past which is told from her husband's point of view which is really cool where he's it's his life leading up to the car accident so that's got pre it's got pretty bad reviews on Goodreads this one, but I think it sounds really good. I like Mary Kubica as an author, and I'm hoping that it'll be worth reading. The next book actually sounds really similar in premise now that I think about it, and that is The Marriage Lie by Kimberly Bell. This is about a woman whose husband dies in a plane crash this time. Um, however, he wasn't meant to be on that plane. He told her he was somewhere else so she's trying to work out why he lied to her what he was actually up to and whether she really knew him at all um this has got much better reviews all the rest of these are like almost four star reviews so i have high hopes for these the next book is a, i think the one i'm most excited for and that is the liar's girl by Catherine ryan howard so this is about there was a serial killer and he was like an attractive student and he drowned four people, he stalked and drowned four women and he had a girlfriend at the time and she was in love with him. She found out he was a serial killer, he got arrested, she ran away, never came back. However, in the present day there is now some copycat killings going on. The police go to him, the serial killer, hoping to get his help with these copycat killings. He says the only person he'll talk to is his old girlfriend and he's got some new things to confess that they the police have no idea what it is. I really like this premise. I read um, Truth and Lies by Caroline Mitchell which I talked about in my wrap up and that kind of had the same premise where our protagonist has a deep personal collection to the serial killer and this gives me vibes of a similar level. I really like the idea that she was in love with the serial killer. She had no idea that he was this person. And I'm hoping all that character stuff's handled really well. And the final one is Perfect Liars by Rebecca Reed. This has got like the most standard thriller premise ever, but it sounds really good. So I'm kind of happy about that. This is about, um, there were three women and when they, it says 16 years ago, they committed a crime together and they agreed never to speak of it again. In the present day, some stuff has come up surrounding that crime, I believe. And it says three of them walk into dinner and only two of them will walk out. So presumably one of these three women is 
willing to kill one of the other ones to keep that secret secret. Again, love thrillers about intense female friendships, that's basically what this sounds like it's going to be all about. Um, it's got all the good elements that I like, it's got a secret from the past that they're trying to uncover. And yeah, hopefully it'll be a really good read. So that is my TBR list for the Buzz Readathon. Um, I really like the idea of this. It helps clear your TBR if there's words that like, because they're usually common words. The other one was like girl, for example. I didn't take part then, but I'm hoping to take part in pretty much all of them now, depending on what the words are. It's a great excuse to read a lot of thrillers that I haven't gotten around to yet. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping these will be some really good reads. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It helps me out massively. Uh, let me know if you're taking part in this. It'd be really cool to find some other people to talk to who are taking part. Um, or if you've read any of these thrillers, let me know because I have got loads of ones that I could substitute. So for example, if you tell me one of them's rubbish, I might decide to change it up. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.